So, what is the meaning of life, according to Emmy? Well, it is to learn to be. It is to learn to accept that being is being done through you, through your consciousness, through your ability, through your eyes, your senses, your whole way of being in the world. It is to become aware that that is a very precious thing. That isn't just any old thing. You have this very complex pod, as I like to think of it, this body, but also this social personality with all its experiences and its past memories and its relationships, its connections, this whole framework of existence that you have created out of this body, out of these genes, out of these givens of flesh and bone and viscera inside of you. And out of all of that, you are creating an entity that allows the light of ideas, the light of experiences, the light of feelings, the light of being alive, the light of being able to love yourself and other people, things in the world, nature, ideas, possibilities, projects, purpose, values, meanings, it allows you to experience all those things and gradually order and organize them. And the more you grasp that and the more you connect to that, the more it becomes yours. But of course it never is yours. What you are is an instrument through which the world shines, an instrument through which consciousness manifests itself. It is through your brain, through your eyes, through your ears, through your voice, through your nose, through your senses, through the things you do in the world, through the work you do, through the kindness you show, through the learning you do, through the correcting of all your mistakes, each time, again and again, through the way in which you forgive yourself and start again and learn to respect yourself and learn to move forward in that way. It is in all these ways and many, many more that I'm forgetting right now. I'm not thinking about in this moment, but so many other ways of being that you become one ray of light in the universe, that you become something that throws light in the world, that enables others in the world, that creates better vibes in the world, that educates those people that are making mistakes in the world, that allows the world to function a little bit better because of your presence, because of your willingness to think again, to not be punishing, to not be angry, to be kind, to be good, and to constantly increase the overall capital of good relating, good understanding, good being, well-being, added value to the world. The more you do these things, the more you will feel as if you are held by that very framework of meaning, that very framework of all those valuable things that you keep increasing, that you keep improving. It is through that improvement in the world that you create a sense of freedom, 
a sense of rightness, a sense of recognition of how we connect, how we are the same, how it matters that we're good to each other, and how terribly important it matters that we make something of that miracle of life. People who have religions think of that as a God-given thing, as a divine thing. That's a word, God, but there's no doubt about it that even without religion, we can recognize that there is an overall pattern that we belong to, that we are a part of, and that we can either fight against, deny, contradict, arrogantly dismiss, or that we can do our best to allow to appear through us, through our actions and our way of being, through our thoughtfulness. We can live that. We can make it more rather than less in the world. We can make it shine and glow and become elucidated, highlighted, more than it was. And each time we make it more, the meaning increases. And each time we make it less, the meaning decreases. So we have a lot of power over our own lives and we have power over the lives of the people we are connected with because we don't ever just affect our own lives or our own selves we connect up with everybody else and our actions and our words and our sentiments and the moods we create in the world they do magic for other people and we need to be responsible for that. Every time we get angry with ourselves or with the world around us, we create anger in that world. It's not that we're just the recipient. We're passing it on and we're magnifying it. And every time we are able to take even a bad feeling and transform it into something positive, we have added value to the world and that value is immediately ours to keep but it is also immediately there to pass on to other people and other people will notice that animals will notice that every time you reach out to a dog or a cat or any other animal at all they will respond to your gentleness to your kindness and to your ability to bring out the best in them. And if you fight against them, or you tell them off, or you're angry with them, or you lock them up, they will also respond to that. And the distress that you create will reverberate back on you. And the goodness, and the joy, and the pleasure, and the beauty, and the art, and the creativity that you use and you pass on will immediately reverberate in your life, in your mind, in your brain, in your heart, in your soul. You are the author of how much meaning you allow in your life and how much value you allow to show in your life and how good you get at transforming the negative experiences and the bad stuff into something that works, something that holds together, something that feels a bit more robust, a bit better, a bit more pleasant. The more you do that, and the more you feel you're the author of your life, you're the author of the goodness, the author of the framework that will hold, the framework that will allow you to live a good and meaningful and strong 
and therefore transformative life. It really doesn't matter what you started with. It really doesn't matter that there are a lot of bad people in the world. Seemingly. Because the bad people are just like you and I. They've just got set into their way doing bad things. Doing angry things. Doing aggressive things. Doing mean things. Doing depriving things. Doing things that destroy If you've encountered that too much and you feel upset, it's time that you start this transformation. Become part of that solution. Become part of that change that we need to make in this world. You and I, we need to do it. All of us, we need to do it. And the more other people will see how it can be done, the more people there are working together on it and the better it will feel because that coming together of people of goodwill working together for the creation of meaning, value and a better atmosphere that is what gives you a sense of it all being worth it of life being good of life being possible and that's when you understand what it means. Nobody needs to explain it to you anymore at that point. You just feel it. You just know. And you want to do more of it. And the more you do it, the better it will get. You just got to get into that habit. You got to learn to live in that creative, constructive way. You've got to give over to that. You've got to believe in it. You've got to work at it and not despair. Be well, my friend. Be well. Keep working at it. And you'll get the reward of finding that meaning and knowing why you were born and what it all is for.